trying to understand how big is big led me to think of ways to compare that in terms that we might understand. For example, how many of our cars could have operated for a year on the gasoline that would have been refined from that crude oil that's now been lost for our home here at the University of Delaware. All of the cars registered in this city could have operated for a year on the, um, the gasoline that would have been produced from what was lost. There are at least 1,200 other cities and towns in 43 states that are of similar size to our hometown. A year's worth of shipping traffic for LA and Long Beach, our largest container port in the United States, um, those container ships could have been fueled for a year on the lost fuel. How many trucks could have delivered goods to the stores in our neighborhoods? If all the freight trucks in the United States were to move to improve by two miles per gallon in their fuel economy, we would be able to offset 12 years of daily releases of 19,000 barrels a day. The uh, current administration has set a target of 35 and a half miles per gallon for new vehicles uh, by the middle of this decade. If all the cars in the United States were improved to 35 and a half miles per gallon, we would reduce and offset the demand for petroleum in the automobile sector. That offset, that, that reduced demand, if we put it in terms of Deepwater Horizon, would be about the same as 199 years of daily releases 